Okay, talk about the symptom assessment. You ask the nurse, usually daily, you have to face uh, the patients. You have the patient communications. You have the patient interaction. You have the patient's assessment that you have to ask them a whole, everything about the information. So today, I just give you one small part of your chart. That is how you get the information from the patient. That's what we call symptom assessment. Before we talk about symptom assessment, I would like to tell you about the size first. The size are different from the symptom. That's correct. And do you know what is the difference between size and symptom? Last time we have the vital size. That's correct. We call it a vital size. So anybody here tell me that what is the difference between size and symptom? Okay, I show you the size, uh, for sample. You have vital size. Swelling is the sign. Redness is the sign. Sweating, signs. And vomit, signs. So, what is the main characters of the sign? Anybody here can tell me? Okay, the size, that is what you can see or you can measure. That's correct. Because of vital size, you have blood pressure, you have pulse, you have respiratory rate, you have temperature. All that size you can measure. That's correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. Swelling, you can measure, you can see and you can use a ruler to measure the circumference of the arm or the legs and swelling, or you can measure by the ruler. So thus you can measure, you can see, so it's the sign. Redness is the same, or swelling. Swelling, you can see it, so it's the sign. Or even vomit, vomit la no no man, vomit. Uh, this is a sign because you see that. Mm -hmm. So the difference between the size and the symptom, that is the symptom you can't measure. It's a feeling inside the patient. Mm -hmm. For example, you see nausea, nausea la bùng nôm mm -hmm. Nausea is a symptom. Meanwhile, vomit is the sign. Nôm là dấu hiệu, mà buồn nôm là triệu chứng. Okay? So even, you see, because you can't measure nausea, only the patient tell you that he or she has nausea, or she or he is nauseous. The same with the pain. Can't measure the pain. Only the patient tell you about his or her pain. The same like a dizziness is a symptom. And fatigue, that is tiredness, is a symptom too. Nobody can say you you can't say what a person is tired if they don't if they don't, they don't tell you. But you have some cue to know, huh? for example, like about itching. You don't know. You don't know that the patient is itch or not. But because you watch them and you see them scratch, or you can see the scratch on the skin, so you guess does the patient have the itch? That's correct. So, itching is the symptom, but you can predict 
through the other side. The same like the SOB. SOB is a shortness of breath. Dr. Long will uh, teach you uh, very, uh, very in detail about that one. Eh? Shortness of breath, that is, is the symptom. But you can see the patient, you can see the neck, you can see their chest, and you can, you can guess the patient has a SOB. But really, SOB is a subjective feeling. That's only the patient have the feeling that. Because somebody, some people say that, oh, I can use the, um, what is we call is a, is a um, oximeter. Uh -huh. Oximeter to measure the SOB? No. Oximeter just measure the oxygen saturation, not measure the level of SOB. Uh, we, we will talk in detail next time when Dr. Long uh, give you the respiratory lesson. Okay. And chill. You know chill? You, you can't, you can't see anything except that the patient shaking uh -huh. and if the patient shaking it may be because she or he has the cold or because she has she has uh, she or he has emotion or something okay so the patient have to tell you oh i'm very cold so you know that the patient have a chill okay so anyway the differentiation or uh, what is the difference between signs and symptoms sometimes is not easy. But we have some idea that uh, we can make a conclusion here. Signs, what is you can measure, you can see, and symptom, what the patient have to tell you. Mm -hmm. Now, the last thing I would like to tell you that is a syndrome. So what is a syndrome? Uh, what is different from sim syndrome and symptom? Symptom trong tiếng Việt là hội chứng. Uh -huh. Symptom uh, trong tiếng Việt là triệu chứng. Okay. Syndrome is the collection or a set of symptoms and signs which they goes together. We call it syndrome. For example, you have Down syndrome, you have Cushing syndrome, that is the people who take a steroids a lot, and you have AIDS, it's a syndrome. Tiếng Việt, mình gọi là bệnh AIDS, hay bệnh SIDA, mình gọi là bệnh. Actually, in English, it's not disease, it's a syndrome. Okay. Nhưng mà người Việt bệnh dịch ra là bệnh. Okay. Now, so today, the topic today that we, we have to use a framework to get the information from the patient. The most, uh, I just give you example that how you get information from pain. Because I told you, pain is the, sin, uh, is the symptom. You can't, you can't measure it. So how? you get all inf information of uh, the pain from the patient, okay? So this is many kinds, many frameworks that they use. Here you can see, you can use all cards. In this one, you can use Socrates, okay? Or you can use a PQRST. But today we stick to one framework only, that is all card, okay? And I modified it because here, time here is not correct one so let's see okay now the whole section today we talk about own cards that is how you ask the patient about pain okay systematically that you have we call it a template all the time you have eight questions to ask the patient about the pain. The first one of all cards is letter O. That's correct. O stands for onset. That is, you ask the patient when 
it is sad when the pain begin and what happened at that time so we call it onset second letter is l stand for location you ask the patient where is the pain where is exactly the pain could you pinpoint where is the pain is in your head in your belly in your chest in your arm in your leg or elsewhere okay so location that the patient have to tell you where is the location of the pain third letter is d d stand for duration that is how long have you had it is it constant that is continuously or come and go that is on and off okay you not only ask the patient about how long the patient has has the pain but also you ask that that pains on and off are always there okay now the next letter is c c stand for character that is what does the pain feel like okay. because you don't know what is the pain so we you have to ask the patient what what is it like okay is it like blah 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 okay we will talk in detail in the next in the last slide for you okay now the next letter is a a stand for alleviating and aggravating it is what do you do to relieve the pain something to make the pain less to relieve the pain or something to make the pains works or increase the pain okay something like that oh say that if i lie down uh, the pain will go away or if i raise my legs up the pains go away uh, that's it that's something that can relieve the pain or in the opposite something to make the pain works say that oh when i turn my chair i turn my uh, body it's more pain or when i breathe in forcefully it's more pain or something like that so uh, you have to ask the two opposite which one make the pains going down and which one make the pains going up let the r stand for radiation that is, does the pen spread to other area? Does the pen spread to other spot? Say, oh, I have the chest pain. Now the pens go to my left thumb. Oh, or I have the abdominal pain. Now the pens go up to my shoulder, something like that. So the radiation of the pen is uh, important when you ask to get information from them. T stand for treatment. Have you ever taken medication for pain? Okay, it's, it's easy for you if the patient stay in the hospital, but if the patient come from their home, sometimes they took some medication at home to relieve the pain. So you have to ask them about the history of taking medication or not. Okay, even in a hospital, you have to look at the chart of the patient to see that which medication that the patient already took. And the last letter is S, is severity. Okay, that is a score. You ask the patient like this, on scale of 10, zero is no pain and 10 is extremely painful or it's very painful how much you rate your pain okay so you divide into scale from zero no pain up to 10 is very painful the patient may be 
uh, may say that, oh, about five or seven or three, okay? So you have one, two, three, four, five, up to 10. And ask the patient to give you uh, the scale of the pain. That's because we don't know. And you know, everybody give different scale to you. But anyway, it's only reliable source that you make assessment about the severity of the pain. Okay, so that is the slide to uh, summarize uh, all uh, the question you have to ask. It's in total, you have at least eight questions and you have to ask the patient automatically. Okay? The orders of the question does not very important, okay? You can ask which one first and which ones later, it's okay. It's no problem at all. But you have to ask all that question from the old cats, okay? Now, the last slide I would like to tell you, that is we talk in detail about the uh, character of the pain. This one I have to uh, tell you in Vietnamese because if I explain you in English, sometimes it's, it's more difficult to understand what is it, okay? So khi mà mấy em hỏi bệnh nhân về đau đó, thì mấy em có một cái câu là mấy em hỏi là cái đau nó như thế nào, nó như thế nào, thì mấy em phải gợi ý cho người ta, phải không? Đau như không giống như là sharp, tức là đau như cắt, phải không? Là sharp đơn, yeah. it is đơn tức là đau mà đau ngấm ngầm, đau ngầm á thì là đơn, burning là đau như là đốt, yeah. như là nóng đốt, là burning, tingling là đau như là châm chích, yeah. ai mà lấy cái ke, cái kim nhỏ mà châm nhau châm vào trong mình là tingling, stabbing đau giống như là ai đâm vào mình, phải không? sharp là giống ai cắt cái da của mình, phải không? Còn stopping là giống như là ai đâm sâu vào trong người mình thì stopping. Aching, đau. Đau cái này là đau nhất, phải không? Nhất thì aching. Cramping, cramping là đau giống như là giật bẻ mấy em. Đau mà quặn á, đau mà nó bị siết lại. Ha? Một cái chỗ, một cái, một cái cơ nào đó, nó siết lại, nó siết cứng ha? là cramping. Squeezing, cũng hơi giống như cramping ha. Squeezing là giống như siết lại nhưng mà cái cramping á nó siết mà nó siết cứng và rất là đau. Squeezing á, thì có thể là ít đau hơn. Heavy tức là đau mà nó nặng nặng nề ha. nó giống như được đơn giống như là đau ngấm ngầm nhưng mà nó nó cảm giác nó nặng trong đó thì gọi là heavy. Tender tender là đau cái này là không phải là đau mà có nghĩa là nó đúng là nó nhạy đau tức là nó không có đau lắm nhưng mà em sờ vào thì là đau nhảy nhõng lên phải không? Đó là tender tức là nhảy lắm. Hãy mình chỉ đưa tay vào thì nó đau là nó đau nhưng mà để không thì nó ít đau hơn. Đó gọi là tender. Và cuối cùng là so so là một cái đau giống như đau rác khó diễn tả nhưng mà giống như mấy em đau cổ họng thì cái đó thì bằng so mouth cái đau đau mà nó nó rác rác thì gọi là so. Ok. So, tất cả ngày hôm nay là như thế là như vậy là 20 phút <cười> là xong cái bài bữa nay rồi mấy em có gì thắc mắc không muốn gì hỏi hay là nói tiếng Anh <cười> any question